we'll be spending the next few months together exploring things around research methods, methodology, research projects, your own research projects. So I thought I would spend a few minutes first talking to you about my own experience with research and um, just try to depict why all this even matters to you and then to your degree. My own experience with research only started at the end of my undergraduate degree with my dissertation. That got me mildly interested in research. The real passion for it came at the end of my postgraduate degree, a master's in public administration. So I was pretty much at the same point you are just now. And I remember the sense of anxiety that I felt when I had to find the perfect topic and had to develop this research process perfectly for a good mark. However, what I found out in the process is that the way to that mark was as enjoyable as the mark itself. And in fact, I even have a theory that the more enjoyable that process is, the more rewarding it is at the end in terms of an actual mark for your dissertation. So why is it all important? We hear about science and research in popular media, radio, TV, BBC Paul said this, American scientists said that, British scientists disagreed and said something completely different. It is important to start looking at the reasons why research contradicts other research, why people arrive at different conclusions and how they use such conclusions to be of use to their own organizations. Now, most of the research we hear about out there, just casually, just going about throughout everyday life, is um, medical research, biochemistry, mathematics, physics, and the kind of research that um, impacts our health, our well-being, um, our, our lives. But you have to stop and think that none of it would even be possible without management research. Organization and management scientists are the ones that look at how people liaise in organizations and how their work is made to be effective, how their work reaches the stakeholders, the clients, you, in the way in which it's meant to be reaching them. It isn't simply a science about how to enhance companies' profit. It is a science about how to make employees happy and satisfied in their work, how to make society a better place, and how to enhance the wealth of nations. This is the Adam Smith Business School, so it only seems appropriate to refer to our forefather, the author of The Wealth of Nations. I've heard it said that research is like improvisation theater. And I agree, they are both about embracing the uncertainty, not fearing the unknown, and this is very different from the kind of courses you've had so far and from the kind of assessment you've had so far in your degree. Now, back to research. If you look at an academic paper, you will probably be forgiven if you thought there was a clear line between the research aims, so a start point in the research, let's call that X, and Y the findings of that research, because this is generally what is reported in academic papers. However, this line here is not straight in reality. It almost goes something like this, going off the track on the way to Y, going back to X, and then leading somewhere unexpected. Let's call that the Z point. Z is unexpected. Z is something that may have never occurred to you when you started with your X. And definitely not when you projected the Y findings. But this isn't a sign of failure. This is a sign that you've engaged in the process. In this cloud created by the circles and not the straight lines, taking you from the start point of research 
to the end point of it. Embrace the Z. Z means you have problem solving skills. It means you didn't just stop when you saw that the line isn't going straight, but you decided to go on it, see where it takes you. And so it took you in a circle, that's fine. You get in another circle, that's fine as well. It's all about overcoming problems. It's all about retesting assumptions that you may have about one concept or another. It's about really starting to engage with the process at the point of enjoying it. And it's only then that you will be able to spot the Z. Now, your ability to engage in this process will show us and your employers later that you have problem solving skills. This is the kind of skills employers are looking for. And we don't quite teach enough of that in most of the curriculum but there is a lot of it in your dissertation. We are teaching you the steps of the process through which you would get from X to Y or Z, but really what happens on that line, what happens in that process, you will be in charge of. Your supervisor may find out about it, but you will be ultimately responsible for, responsible for getting this process from X to Z and enjoying yourself in the process.